Eidolon. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Aeorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, oh, look at that each one man. enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. I love to the sound of it. It's just awesome. Oh, I love the world of Final Fantasy the lore, the depth that there is to it. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking right. dominion over all. Rising in desperate Talk resistance, about... the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon Oh, black was made. plucked from the heavens Throwing to fireball machination. From its core emerged the elder prime Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. That's awesome. <laughs> the devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Yeah, well, okay. have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. <laughs> the realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies Bar ahead, Bar we shall press on. I just love them all. What I love most Spur about those games is you can just play whatever job classes you want. Prosperity. In other games, I used to have to create a different character, and I hated this that because I like to just swap it. Change, an but if I can embrace just like playing me, and then embrace different job classes, I think that's one of the most amazing things about this game, and about Final Fantasy in general. You can just change your job class. May Classic he ever Final Fantasy music. In the light of the crystal. Unfortunately, we cannot play the Vieira class, which is the one I'm aiming for, so we'll have to switch to that later. So for now, we could play... I mean, we could just go Lalafell, right? Typically, I would play Elzin, though. Let's see. Gladiator, Pugilist. I want to go not with Disciple of War, but a Disciple of Magic. I'm going to go Arcanist. So, <clears throat> looking at the different job classes, there's a few that catch my eye. But in games such as this, I tend to run more of a support, mostly on the healer side. So Astrologician caught my eye just because of both the look of it, the style of the different abilities, how it's based on the stars and everything, and looks really cool. And it's a healer. Um, so I, I think I'm going to start with the Arcanist, because that'll also... It, turns into from what I understand a summoner and a scholar which is a split class and I like kind of both of those I always thought the scholar was cool in Final Fantasy 4 when I played it growing up and then the summoner obviously takes me back to my Final Fantasy 10 routes but it also gives me a support and a damage class splitting off of the basic class because like Thalmaturge will just turn into the Black Mage and Conjurer turns into the White Mage. But if I play an Arcanist, I kind of get 
both, and that'll give me a feel of what I want to play. I'm assuming that I'm going to go with the support classes, but it'll also give me a look at both. So I want to play the Arcanist. Adepts of the Art of Arcanum derive their might from symbols of power, born of geometric techniques hailing from across the southern seas. Held within occult grimoires, these symbols lead shape to the Arcanist Sather, thereby allowing them to produce myriad powerful spells, using the self-sane symbols to unlock the latent power contained within gemstones. Ooh. Arcanists are also able to summon forth the familiar known as Carbuncle to carry out their building. I also get a Carbuncle. Nice. This puts me to Limsa Lominsa. And so it begins. Oh! That's so cool. Why have I not played this sooner? So did the crystal birth me or here? Yeah. I'm listening. Here, yeah. feel. Okay, I'm feeling. What am I feeling? The sun. Don't go towards the light. I've been told that's a bad thing. But also a good thing. Maybe. Maybe not. Darkness. Oh, what is that? Shadow Man? Hear. Feel. Think. Right. Okay. Oh, they turned me into a summoner. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. So this is giving me a glimpse of what I will become. I'm not sure what that is. Who am I summoning? Bahamut? Probably the effort. Oi! Y'all right, lad? Maybe. I don't know. I'm having a dream about being a summoner, I guess. How'd I get here? Who are you? Sid? No. A grizzled pass- Oh, you're just some random dude. Alright. You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Was I? I mean, it happens sometimes, you know? Hmm. Doesn't seem like seasickness. <laughs> Not that I look at you. Oh, now that I look at you. I apparently can't read. Some are more sensitive to this stuff than others. See, and we ain't too far from Vilbrand now, which is chock full of aetherites. Aetherites? What is that? No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. So, is it the feeling of the crystal? Is that what you're talking about? Are aetherites like some kind of hub crystal? Might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ships leaping around like a demented chocobo today. Demented chocobo? What are you talking about? I reckon I might head out on deck. Get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Luminsa is still a fair way off. Them young'uns don't much care for conversation, see? Who are they? Brennan's the name. And Pedalin's me trade. Are you a thief or... Are you saying you're a shopkeep? Or both? Just saying. It could be both. How else are you supposed to get your wares? It's cheaper that way. Ah, smelt that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you are one of them new adventurers. Supposedly so. How many are you seeing these days? Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business. I'll be fine. What was it that first attracted you to it? Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't bout to pry. 
Might as well be old Brennan's a chatterbox. Seeming so. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Why does it have to be three? What are you trying to say? And I'd rather they stayed secret to all three of them, or... Just remember, though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. I mean... Depends on if you're a zombie or not, I guess. Because if you can survive as a zombie, then you can get some stuff out of being dead. Vampires count? I don't know. Pirates! Nice. Of course, we're gonna go to the sea town and immediately get attacked by pirates. Have you no sense? Get below. Ah, I can fight. Leave me alone. Maybe not a ship. I think I can fight a ship. Level 1 Arcanist. Taking on a ship. How good do you think Carbuncle is? That's what I'm asking. What is the world coming to? Pirates. <sighs> you can't rest easy, friends. We've made it out of cannon range. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept us heads on our shoulders. I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Ooh. Now the only thing cooler than that would be a flying ship. There's gotta be airships in this game, right? I mean, it's the classic Final Fantasy. By the by, is this your first trip? Uh, yeah. Actually, it is. Technically, it's not. But yeah, it is. It is? Haha, <laughs> well then. Let this journey itinerant. Tell you the ins and outs about your destination. Limsa prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. That's why the pirates attack. It weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates. And if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagin. Sahagin. Who is the Sahagin? Is that the fish people? Or oh, right in the coast, just as bold as you please. Or is that just like a band of pirates. That might have been a band of pirates. With them are the sea-dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks. In case you didn't know. Oh, well, I guess I should have just kept running and I would have known. Out here assuming things. Haha! <laughs> At long last, land ho! Behold, Limsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Limlane. Goddess of Navigation. So Lim Lane is the... Okay. All these fancy words are gonna just, like, implode my brain, I swear. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Rotano Sea lies the maritime city-state. I feel like the sound effects need to drop a little bit because it's overpowering the narrator's voice. Like, what to the hell? To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Is that me? Is that the eighth right? Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Ooh. Lane. So it is Lim Lane. Got it right. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? Oh, here we go. Bring it. I'm ready. I already forgot your name. Brennan. That's it. <laughs> and here's where we part ways, son. Oh, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again. You got a name. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Traveling merchant? Here, I want you to have this. By the way of thanks for saving me arse earlier. What is it? Is it a map? It's a guild? Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of story to personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Sure. I mean, it does travel all over the place. It would be good to get my name spread. 
through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. Final Fantasy 14. Here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, what a world. Crystals. They definitely do know how to immerse you into a world. Starting you out on a place that's just full of... Hey, you there. What's a yellow jacket? Are you a guard of the area? Hey, I mean you. This is my district, and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. I ain't no scum. What are you talking about? He looks so shocked. <laughs> ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of Limsa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad. I haven't got all day. Welcome to Limsa Luminsa, a bustling city-state filled with scoundrels and brigands. The rough cut diamond of the Rotano Sea. Please select the control screen you wish to use. We're gonna use mouse and keyboard. Follow the instructions. Okay, forward, backwards. Turn. Turn my camera. Turn my character. So if I hold both buttons, I just auto move. You gotta give me a bigger area to walk if you're gonna ask me to like. Jeez. You know, let's quit running into walls. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Initiating quests. Non-player characters, NPCs, offering quests can be recognized with the exclamation marks above their heads. Right-click the mark to bring up the quest window. Got it. Ooh. Once you've initiated a quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Press the accept button. Got it. Okay, so I can get experience and gill. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Linsa Lominsa, you must first register yourself in the Adventurer's Guild. Got it. Now that I can do. Now then. I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. So, before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurer's Guild. Drowning Wench? Is that a pub? It's not far. Just straight down the street and speak to Griffar. He'll show you how to work the big moving platform. Nice. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Batteron. He's the proprietor of the winch. Got it. Got all that? Good. Now run along. When running, I shall. Quest accepted! You have become a quest. Use the duty list. What is the duty list? Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list. On the right side of the screen, a maximum of five quests can be displayed at once. Clicking the title will open the quest in your journal, allowing you to review the objectives and rewards. Okay, so that's over here. It tells me what to do. Clicking on it opens the location on the map. Got it. Okay, this is going to take me a little bit to get used to, but I think I got it. Welcome to Linsa Lominsa. If you've a mind to visit the Drowning Wench, the Crow's Lift will take you there. Yes, please. To the Crow's! Collecting rewards. Complete a quest by right-clicking the NPC. Check mark. Got it. Sir? Too far away. Well, let's fix that. Sir? Baron? I am here to collect my rewards. Greetings to ye, lad. My hello, sir. What'll it be? Ah... But you ain't here for a drink, are ye? Not against it, not here for it. You've come with a mind to tell your and What the hell are you talking about? I'm looking for work. Please. If that's what you're asking, then yes. <laughs> the name's Batteron. And this most hospitable of hostilleries is the Drowning Winch. Jeez. You're challenging my English. I don't like that. 
brain can't compute. Ah. Uh. Tis also the ohm o' the Venturers Guild, here in Limsa. That's why we've a desk specially for Andalin Guild business. Ooh. Venturers have a knack for finding trouble, see? Not that they need it in these parts, on account of there being uh, trouble wherever you look. If you message to steer clear of the fishbacks and the kobolds outside the city, kobolds, gremlin dudes, the pirates of the inside will get ye instead. Okay, so there's danger inside, there's danger outside. Tell me to be careful of both. Got it. And if they don't manage, there's always the Gar Garlean Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're planning. But who are they? That's what I want to know. Aye. This town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again, and you'll see a people living in a fear of what tomorrow might bring. I mean, storms, pirates, like, you never know. That's what living on a port does to you. And who can blame them? After everything that's happened, Eorzea took a mighty blow during the Calamity. But our ohms weren't the only things that got wiped off the face of existence by that thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories too, and no one's been able to explain it in a way as it makes sense. Is that the... are they talking about... is the Calamity the destruction of the previous game before it became a Realm Reborn? Because I learned the other day while looking up a few things that the game happened before this game. They did some Calamity event and reset the whole game. It took our bleeding memories too. None of the folks what saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes. Tis all foggy, like recollections from an ardent night on the ale. Well, maybe that's all it was. You never know. But there is one thing we all remember, and that's the group of venturers who laid down their lives to drag Eorzea back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though we ain't forgotten what they did for us, this goddamned calamity spawned memory loss rubbed us of their names. How unfortunate. It won't even let us picture their faces. Tis like staring at a gull flying in front of the sun. All you see in your mind's eye is a shadow. It's this what got people calling those heroes the warriors of the light. If Limsa's ever going to put the time of darkness behind it, it's going to need venturers to help banish the fear. It's going to need heroes like the ones we lost. I can be that. That's me. Let's do it. Maybe one day, you'll be one of them. That's the plan. And that's why any aid we can give to a venturer is effort well spent. Ah, but listen to me yattering on like a sun-touched fish. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I feel like I should be saying these things because I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying. And it's like, come on now. Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Venturer's Guild. You there, adventurer. You sailed in on the last ferry, did you not? Yes. Maybe? Was there one before me? Or I, how am I supposed to know? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place, sending your friend signals, were you? Now hold on there just a minute, officer. You've got the wrong bloke. This fine upstanding young gent is mere... is me dear to... I am not your grandma. I mean, sure. Oh, is that right? Sure. Are you making a good point there, officer? A very good point. Very wise. You needn't worry, though. I keep one eye open at all times. Not a watered-down cup. Ha! I should hope. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're on about. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'm just gonna like push that aside. Uh, I don't have any idea what he's on about either, so I'm just lost entirely. You'll have to excuse these eager bloody yellow jackets. There's been a spate of killed... What the hell is this guy talking about? Get me out of here! I can't cope. Brain imploding. Encoder revoluted. <laughs> Don't take it too personal, though. Us Lominsons can be an edge-strong bunch of bastards. Tis true, but given time, we'll grow on ye. I don't think you will. I gotta learn to understand you first, but maybe I will. Oh, why? Welcome to Limso Lominsa. Limso? 
Where the sea's as green as the faces of me patrons. True. I'm probably gonna get drunk to understand you. Now, take a moment to gather ye wits. I'm just ready to go. Bring it. Man, I hate to skip things, but like, I can't understand this fool. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. Yes! It's about time. You've taken the first step as an adventurer. Listen well to the wisdom of Batteron Ten... His last name's Ten Fingers? Are there other Batterons, and do they have less fingers? Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Level up! Sweet. I can summon a carbuncle. You can now summon a pet to do your bidding. You only have access to one pet now, but there will be opportunities to acquire more as you continue your adventures. Cast the spell Summon from your hotbar to complete the Arcane Pact. 